When you hear AI, you might think of the country with the most AI startups, or perhaps the up-and-coming superpower. But low-key, there's a country planning to solve a problem that often gets overlooked, ensuring that the jobs of older people aren't replaced by AI. Can you guess what country is it? Okay, the answer is Singapore. But how come? Well, we often say adapt or die. For students or younger people, it might indeed be easier to adapt to AI. But it's not that simple for those who are already well into their careers. It's reported that older workers might be more vulnerable to the AI revolution. However, on the other hand, those with higher education are generally more prepared to transition from jobs at risk of being displaced by AI to jobs that can be empowered by AI. And, yeah, now Singapore has a scholarship program for their mid-career workers. How do they look like? So, there are three types of programs. First, everyone above the age of 40 get $4,000 of credit for classes on a government platform. And if they need to take a leave from work while undergoing training, the government provides a subsidy equivalent to 50% of their average income over the last 12 months. And then, there's a subsidy for those who want to pursue another diploma at polytechnics and art institutions. Apart from education, Singapore is also serious about AI investment. They are ready to invest over 1 billion Singaporean dollars in the next five years. Singapore was actually one of the first countries to create an AI plan, starting in 2019. They recently updated their plan with the National AI Strategy 2.0. Okay, that was Singapore. But what about other countries? Are they prepared for the AI age too? There's an index that measures a country's ability to implement AI in governance, the Government AI Readiness Index. This score is based on several factors, like technology availability, workforce skills, and government policies related to AI. The higher the score, the more prepared a country is for AI in public services, like using AI for cancer screening in the UK. The top-ranking country is the United States. Well, not many surprises there. And these are those who make the top 10. Conversely, at the bottom of the ranking sits North Korea. The AI era might bring many innovations, but since AI can take over a lot of human jobs, some people might get left behind and pushed out. Bill Gates once said that the AI industry could end up benefiting the wealthy more than helping to eradicate poverty. That's why this should be the government's responsibility to ensure the positive impacts of AI are felt by everyone and to prevent its negative effects. We're still at the beginning of the AI era. Will this era bring disaster, or will it make life better? And as always, thank you.